this morning from our home in Connecticut around uh, 8 30 and got in here to the campsite uh, around four o'clock and it was almost non-stop riding so it took me uh, quite a few hours to get out here about 250 miles <laughs> Kind of fading light, but here's the World's End State Park in Pennsylvania, the end of day one. It's a little bit before seven o'clock in the evening. This is the beginning of uh, hopefully a multi-week uh, trip. It's supposed to actually rain tomorrow morning, so I'm gonna get up early to try to beat the rain. Um, the remainder of uh, Hurricane Ida is moving up the uh, seaboard, Atlantic seaboard, and it's gonna dump a ton of rain in the New England area, and so the further I get to the west, uh, the more likely I am to uh, avoid rain altogether, so I'll probably get up at five and try to leave here at 5.30 or six. Yesterday was a very interesting day. The storm, the tropical, what was now a tropical storm that was coming up from the hurricane that hit um, the Gulf Coast of the United States, finally made its way up to Pennsylvania. I thought I was going to be able to avoid it by getting far enough west, but that didn't, did not happen. Um, I woke up at 2 a.m. yesterday morning to the sound of rain on my tent, and I knew I was going to be in for a tough day if the rain had made it that far north and that far west already. So uh, I ended up breaking camp at around uh, 7 o'clock, left at 8, pouring rain, and uh, rode all the way until uh, 2 to 3 o'clock yesterday in just downpours. It's one of the worst riding days of my life. Um, fortunately, there was no uh, ponding on the road, so it was still fairly safe, but it was hard to see through the helmet with all the rain uh, hitting it and the, the cars passing by. Um, and then finally I broke free and uh, towards the very uh, western end of or side of Pennsylvania um, broke out into the open in an absolutely uh, gorgeous evening. Fortunately got most of my clothes dried out. <clears throat> uh, had a great night's sleep and I'm looking forward to uh, today. I'm going to head across Ohio to close to uh, Toledo. So uh, it should be uh, hopefully a good ride today. This is the Pimatuning State Park. Um, beginning of day three. My GPS took me um, up past the ranger station. Uh, <clears throat> I went to the Jamestown camp, but that was closed. And so I continued north because there were signs for campgrounds. And ended up, up here at the park office, but apparently uh, Ohio and Pennsylvania both use the same Pima Tuning uh, State Park name. So I walked into the ranger station asking for my campground reservation, um, only to be told that I was in Ohio. Uh, and sure enough, the sign does show Ohio on it, but you have to read it fairly carefully to, to pick that up. So she sent me uh, back south, uh, ended back up at the ranger station down here at the park office. Um, and then she told me that the campground was actually in the northern part of the lake. So I ended up having to come all the way around um, up here, and I'm, so I'm at Linesville Beach, which is a uh, very nice campground, and uh, it's been a very quiet night here. So I just finished day three of my trip. This is East Harbor State Park in Ohio. I am in the non-electric site. The elect all the campers you see have electricity, and these are the campers that don't have electricity. There's one or two, but that's about it. Uh, good morning, it's day four, Friday. Um, it is about 8.37 in the morning on uh, this fourth day of my trip. So today I'm going to Toledo, Ohio. I'm gonna visit the uh, Maritime Museum there with my younger brother. And we're gonna spend an hour or two at the museum and then I'm going up to uh, his place in Ann Arbor and we're gonna spend a couple days, which is over the Labor Day weekend. So this is outside of Toledo, Ohio, or maybe it's in Toledo, Ohio, National Museum of the Great Lakes. We got a tugboat and a lake freighter.
Friday afternoon. I uh, just finished visiting the Great Lakes Maritime Museum with my brother and now I'm heading up to uh, Michigan which is going to be my 18th state that I have ridden a motorcycle in. Farm fields of Michigan. So this is day six, starting off. It's a little bit before uh, 10 o'clock. Spent a day and a half with my brother. Uh, lives here in Ann Arbor with his lovely wife. And now heading towards uh, northwestern Michigan, but visiting uh, my alma mater, University of Michigan. And taking a few pictures around town before I leave. Angel Hall on the left. Elfin A building on the right. Michigan Union. Dental building. Rackham Hall. It all began 44 years ago, a long time ago, fall of Campus Recreation Building, Bates, Upperclassmen, 